strawberry pot of herbs, one of the most important things to think about is drainage. And you want to make sure, of course, that your pot has a hole in the bottom. Well, we don't want that to get stopped up. So if you put a curved piece of broken pottery over that hole, that'll help keep it open so that it doesn't plug up with soil. So that's what we're going to place over the top of that. And another problem with strawberry pots that you may have noticed if you've done this before is that when you water from the top, the water tends to escape from the first hole that it can get out of, which is usually the top hole here. Well, to solve that problem, if you take a piece of PVC pipe and drill holes in it on all four sides here and kind of stagger them, that can act as a drain for that water so that it can get down to the bottom of the pot. But one thing you want to do before you put this in is to take a little piece of duct tape and cover the very bottom of this PVC pipe because if you lift this open your water would go straight through the tube and out the bottom of the pot and never touch the plants. So we're just going to plug that bottom part up here and then we'll just place this in the middle of our strawberry pot kind of sitting on top of that shard that we put down there and then we're going to start to fill with soil around our pipe. Now always use a well-drained soil if you're going to pot up herbs. So you're not going to want to use a potting soil specifically for African violets that's supposed to stay moist all the time. Now I'm going to fill up the pot here to our first ring of holes in the bottom. It's important not to get the soil down inside of your tube, so you might want to use a cup or something. Kind of do that, and then I can let go of my tube now and kind of just slightly pack that soil, but not too much. Well now, I'm ready to start potting up my first layer of holes here. And I'm going to make a pot of thyme because every mom needs more thyme and so I'm going to do that. And here I've got a selection. We've got six holes and then the top, so I've got seven different types of thyme that I'm going to put in here. And first off, I've got a woolly thyme here and it's got woolly leaves and it has kind of a spreading low growing habit. Now most of the thymes that I've picked out for these bottom holes have a low growing habit. Next I've got a caraway thyme here and it has more narrow leaves so that adds a little bit of contrast there to it and again it's got a kind of a cascading effect to it. Then I've got one that's a lavender thyme and this has a nice kind of a lavender scent to it. So that'll be nice. Now this is golden vase thyme and it has some golden variegation on the leaves. So again that adds more contrast. Well I've got one, this is Dune Valley thyme and it has small leaves and it also has a citrusy kind of a lemony scent to it. So that will be nice. And finally, I've got some German winter thyme that has kind of a cascading habit, and this will be a larger thyme. And for the top, I've picked just common English thyme, and this, instead of having a low creeping habit, has an upright growing mounding habit to it for the top of our pot, so we'll have a nice mound at the top. Well, now that I've got them all lined up here, I want to start planting, and when you plant a strawberry pot, you always want to put the plants in from the inside. So I'm just going to take here my woolly thyme out and take it down the inside. Now this can be a little bit tricky with that tube in it, but it just takes a little bit more time. And Then you'll just lay it sideways so that your leaves are coming out the side of the pot. Now if you look inside here, I'll show you that it's actually on its side in the pot. 
Now I'm going to do that with all of these and then I'll fill up to the next level of holes. So let me get started on that. Well now I've got all the side holes filled and before I plant the last time in the top, I want to fill this center tube with a little bit of coarse, either coarse sand or even pea gravel to kind of help with the water going through. So I'm just going to take a cup and pour that in there <clears throat> to the top of that tube. And then I'll take my last time here and make a spot for it up here in the top. And it can be planted to one side because it's going to have a mounding habit and you can trim it to the place that you want. Just make sure that you can get in there and get the water into it. And we'll finish filling with soil about an inch from the top of the pot. And we're ready to go. Now all I need to do is water in my tube here and we'll be set. Well now I've got my pot all watered in and you may notice at first that when you water some of the soil is going to come and fall out of these holes. But don't worry about that because as soon as these plants start growing and establishing their roots that'll anchor the soil in there. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.